back. It's Monday morning, waking up with the morning blend. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I hope you've grabbed a second cup of coffee and uh, you get ready because, well, we're taking a look at downtown Las Vegas right now, but Monday's about to get a little more magical because Murray Sawchuk's in with me. How are you, man? <laughs> good. How are you doing? I'm so good. Good morning. <laughs> I'm so good. Thank you so much. On Monday morning to be here, my friend. I'm uh, impressing myself. Yeah, this is yep. very early for me, yeah. but I'm here. <laughs> but you know what? You're always a pro. You're always on time. You always show up early. I try. I wanted to celebrate uh, with you a little bit because I saw all the posts celebrating 21 years on the Vegas Strip as a performer. I want to just bring you in <laughs> you and, and talk that? about it. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah. I, I realized that a week before I posted that. And I thought, wait a minute, January 26th when I drove all the way through, from, I was living in Orlando, Florida at the time, and I, my show at the Frontier, and I found that old picture of my, I think my, my show was twelve ninety five, and the buffet <laughs> or margaritas are like a buck more than my show. So isn't that crazy in 2002? Yes. Like, how does time fly, you know? I mean, 2002 yeah. isn't that long ago for those of no. us you know who were yeah. born before then yeah of course uh, i want to say know, but, but you know you've seen things change a lot in this town man it's unbelievable right? like, you know it's funny when people say remember things or write things in the back of photos i know people don't print photos that often anymore but because you do forget about certain things until you run into somebody and then years later you go, do you remember this and they go my god i have not thought of that for about 15 yeah. years until somebody brings that up so and you know from the, the buildings in vegas to the shows coming and going i mean the people so so yeah, it's, it's unbelievable how much has changed here. Yeah. yeah, and what was it like to play inside the frontier? What do you remember like about your first few months of shows there? It was crazy because you know Frontier was was the main hotel that that Siegfried and Roy starred in way yeah. back. I mean they started many shows, but had their own show at the Frontier. Then they went to the Mirage after that. And I remember Siegfried and Roy surprising me at my show one day. I didn't know they were coming. I wrote them letters. I wrote everybody Ooh. a letter down the strip. I wrote everybody on the strip from Wayne Newton to everybody, and I actually wrote them a physical letter inviting them to my show. They didn't know who I was. I knew that who they were, and I didn't know who to show up. And sure enough, Siegfried came, and um, and he. I didn't know that, and I walked out, and somebody said, "There's a blonde-haired magician in the audience to watch you." I said, blonde -haired I said, "I don't know any blonde-haired magician." Said, "Well, he has a show next door." I'm like, "No way." Siegfried from Siegfried Roy. <gasps> sure, he sat there, looked amazing as all. Yeah. And after, of course, I was nervous the whole show. I couldn't, I, bet. I couldn't even. And it was a small room, it only held about a couple hundred people. Oh. And at the same time, um, Adam Steck from Thunder from Down Under, he had his show there in the evenings. That's how we became friends years ago. Yeah. And so we were both starting our shows up, trying to make it work, you know. And after uh, Siegfried invited me to his show, and I got to see, I got to see their show, which was unbelievable. You know, I got to go backstage yes. and meet Siegfried and Roy, and I was like, is this really happening? So, you know, uh, you know at that point, I bet you're like. Um, I'm p becoming part of Las Vegas. It was, yeah, right? and I was like, like well, I but I, yeah, Good I didn't even step. know how to become a part of Vegas. You know what I mean? Sure. And now I've been here forever. <laughs> See? Well, yeah, and it's it's yeah. fun for me to hear you kind of trying to establish yourself here in this town because by the time I got here, you were just such a well-known figure. The thing <laughs> that's so amazing about you too, Murray, is, um, and I think you showed this by that story, you're just so great at making authentic personal connections. And so, you know, writing a letter you know, and inviting yeah. someone to your show, but no, that was great. Yeah, I've, I've always way been that way. It. You know, I've always loved people. Um, I love entertainment, you know, and I also took a really big page of Lance Burton's history here because he's very successful. Oh, we and he was love so Lance. personable. And of course, he loved the animals, which I do as well. And I just loved how he gave back to the community. And also, when you're a public figure, I think it's important to support charities and different causes if you want to be a part of the community. It's just part of being in a public forum, in my opinion. So, it it certainly is. You yeah. and I share that passion as well. Let's yeah. take a moment to give a shout out to Lance Burton, who's yeah. been a, sh a friend of the Morning Blend since the Morning Blend was born. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have stayed in touch with Lance, and we uh, sometimes get on the phone with him and his dog, Rocky, oh, yeah. and talk to <laughs> them. Right. But, but he still comes yeah. into town, and that's, sure that's, that's, that's a whole lot of fun. All right, so that was then. Let's talk about right now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, first off, we haven't really gotten to chat one on one about your wedding. Oh my goodness, uh, yeah. Because it's been how long now? How long have you been married? A year. I've been a year and a year and about five months, four months. We got married September 28th last year. You know yeah. what I mean? Not la the year round, you know, and uh, in 2021. And we wanted to either do something really small and just get married because mm -hmm. we've been together at that point for four years uh, or just make it a big Vegas thing. And of course, being in Vegas and my wife, Danny, who's a showgirl in town, we thought, well, let's make it a big to do, you know, and it was a lot bigger than we thought uh, it would be. And everyone showed up and we just had a great party. You know? In so. fact, uh, I have a photo I'd like to show from my personal camera. <laughs> okay. This is yeah. right after your wedding. I was there. It was uh -huh. an amazing production, really. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the classic car and this is you with your mom okay. and your beautiful wife, Danny, who I love. She, she's just yeah. 
a cool chick. She's amazing. You yeah. married a great I got, woman. I'm very lucky. I'm yeah. very lucky. Good, good and and, job. and that and that picture is, uh, is 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 phenomenal because people don't realize the old car yep. in that photo is my dad's. He gave that to me <gasps> after, before he passed. Way. Yeah. And and he's just an amazing person. And he's up there looking down as it now. That's the reason. Oh, he <laughs> is. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna move on with the morning blend. Uh, Murray, come back and join me in the middle of the show. Yes, I'd love to. Shop. All right then. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome back to the second half hour of Las Vegas Morning Blend. Uh, Murray Sarchuk joining me this morning. <laughs> We're talking you. about Murray's career and celebrating 21 years on the <laughs> Vegas Strip. 21 years, so you're you're legally a performer now. I'm you legally a performer. I can drink. I yeah. can work legally on the Strip. All that good stuff. <laughs> you know, isn't that funny? I think, I think it was John Katz that brought that up. He's like, you can legally drink. Now. That's very funny. I oh, John that's okay. Katz yeah. had that idea first? That was his. I that thought was, it was my joke. See, he's perfect. <laughs> see, I think he said that to me about a week ago. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's funny. great. Yeah. I, I'm sure you have had some really interesting things happen during performances. I mean, things, yeah. you know, things go wrong sometimes. They even go wrong in the morning blend sometimes. <laughs> no. Uh, but do you remember any kind of, you know, kind of li a little breakdown that has happened during a show? Maybe a sure. tech problem. I, you know, yeah. lights can go out, things can catch on fire. Yeah, I had, one, fun. I had one at the Frontier. It was, it was the funniest, weirdest thing. We had a guy come up on stage. The stage was like 180, so people were on either side. It's very cabaret. So there's an edge to the stage. And there was table and chair seating on stage in his 50s, maybe late 50s, early 60s. He's on stage. I'm doing a trick. Kid you not. I turn. He takes one step backwards goes off the stage backwards, literally <gasps> jug heads it, legs in the air. I thought, that's the end of my oh. career. That's it. And right. he landed in between two tables. Thank God no one was there. On the ground, he pops back up. I thought, okay, you can walk. Comes back on stage, I'm fine. I'm like, all right. And that's the end of it. He goes away, and that's the end of it. I say, sorry about that. I gave him a free T-shirt. Thank God. Don't sue me. And then a week and a half, two weeks later, <laughs> the guy who ran that hotel, a guy named Peter Vent, which some of us in town knows who that, that name is, and he calls. He got a letter from this gentleman falling off your stage. And uh, just you know, if anything happens, please let us know because we got to file oh, a report. I didn't know. I was new right. to Vegas. I was only there. Right. He wrote this letter saying, um, just want to let you know, I've had this back problem for years. I was, um, I'm in, in the army, and I used to be a vet. I am a vet, and um, uh -oh. I've had a back problem for 20, 30 years, and just so you know, for the last week, I've woken up, and my back hasn't for the last week since I've fallen off your stage. I don't know what you did, but you actually fixed my back as we're going to doctors <laughs> for 20 or 30. Can you believe that? That could have went totally the other way, and I was like, you, uh, thank you, now I'm a doctor. See, oh, that's wow. Yeah, can you believe that? He wow. said, my back's never felt better after whatever happened after falling off that stage. You can't make that up. You really so got lucky on that so one. So lucky, I can't even tell you. Yeah, that's so. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, folks uh, can now see you on stage with the, well, in many spots. Sure, yeah. You're, you're all over the internet. You are all over the country. You're in L.A. a lot. <laughs> sure, yeah. But also on stage with Fantasy. Oh, my God. I love that show. What a fun show. 23 years on the strip. Yeah. Can you believe that? Talk Amazing. about a long and run. And in the, sh the same showroom. Same, same showroom. showroom. Yeah, same yeah. hotel, same showroom. And the cast's always amazing. And they're always, every year, they're changing new numbers. Anita Mann's a dear friend and a phenomenal producer. And always changing stuff every every yeah. every year and every week and every month. They're always updating things. So, so you, know. you know, I often, you come up in conversation quite frequently, and people say, you know, like, what's Murray doing? I'm like, he's in fantasy. And people always go, What's he doing in fantasy? <laughs> so tell us, yes. what do you do in the show? Yeah. We all know you're a very famous magician, but what do you do in fantasy? Well, I definitely go, don't go topless. Uh Thank God for that. Um, but I do the comedy guest spot in that show. I come out and do 10 minutes in a five-minute spot. It gives the girls a change to change scenery and also change costumes. A, a uh, chance to know. change the costumes. Costumes, yeah. And the costumes right. are gorgeous in that show, you know. Ooh. And um, and and I come do about eight, ten minutes, and I make them laugh, and then I leave them, and they're ready to see the ladies again, you know. And, and it's, I, I love the show. It's such a fun show. And I get to work on different comedy angles because it's a more adult show, you know. Yes. My Tropicana show, of course, is more family, so I can get away with a little more in that show, but more adult. What time are you doing? the Tropicana show right now for 4 o'clock Sunday through Wednesdays you know and then yep. I'm uh, I'm in fantasy in the evenings at 10 30 and of course Sundays at 8 and 10 30. I tell you I would like to go to fantasy more but it's at 10 30. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was so glad I saw they are adding in a eight o'clock show they mm -hmm. do this several times a year. That's right. They add in eight o'clock shows on Valentine's Day if you're looking for something kind of beautiful and spicy to uh, take someone to yeah uh, you can go to the eight o'clock I think there's a 10 30 so there's a double right. that day. And it's a great show couples yeah. can come see the show that most of the audience is couples you know Women 
women enjoy yeah. the show just as much as men and all that stuff. So it's a wonderful show. You know why? Because it's done well. Yes. And it's really like, it's a celebration of women. 100%. Yeah. yeah, and it's just really done the right way. And it's, it's a Vegas show. That's what we came here to see. I love We're it. in Vegas, you know. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, I don't know in this new house of yours if you have carpet. I have half carpet, carpet upstairs, and then I have tiled down. But the whole upstairs is all carpet. Okay, yes. well. Uh, tune in for this next spot because if you have carpet in your home like Murray does and half of his you're gonna want to know about our friends at zero res they are truly the best floor cleaners here I've in Las so Vegas them, yeah. yeah 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 let's, let's take a look it out. and we're taking a look at what's coming up tonight on primetime at 8 o'clock The Bachelor at 10 o'clock Good Doctor and then our very own 13 Action News at 11. Murray those are your hours I know tell me about it I can, I can actually handle that <laughs> It's in the evening. It's perfect, you know. Uh, how's and, um, all the YouTube videos been going? Amazing. We just started uploading them again this month, uh, February. Uh, yeah. We took a, a little bit of a break uh, just over the last couple of years because you know when you have a YouTube channel, you have your ups and downs. What's trending? What's not? Right. So, so yeah, I we're imagine. doing a bunch of YouTube shorts now, which is kind of like the reels. YouTube has a new whole thing like that. So, mm -hmm. so we're back on that, doing shooting every day, and and you know doing pranks and parking stuff and all that, that junk I do. But it's it's fun. I enjoy it. You know what I mean? It's so much fun. Uh, yeah. People can check out your YouTube page where yeah, you can go it's, it's magic Murray and it all the videos are for any age from 2 to 102 we do pranks and stuff and they're all lighthearted and we have a good time with those so you have some great videos out there <laughs> I always enjoy watching them and so does Bill my husband uh, yeah. uh, four o'clock at the Tropicana Murray what Wednesday through Sunday yes and then over at fantasy fantasy yeah, in the evening check if me you can out stay up till 10 30 it's <laughs> yeah. definitely worth it <laughs> totally great to see you my thank friend. you again all right oh my gosh thank you so much <laughs> you have a wonderful day guys enjoy your Monday get out there enjoy Las Vegas and we'll see you again tomorrow.